Hello! So last week was Maddie's one year anniversary off the track. Well, since her last race. And it was also Emerald Downs opening day on the 15th, which was Sunday. And so my husband and I decided that it would be fun to go visit the racetrack where Maddie raced and see if we could watch her trainer and any horses that were related to her and all of that stuff to just see if get any insights into some of her behaviors and how to manage certain things and just really just to gain some knowledge. And so we went to visit Maddie first because we had to take care of her feet and do some things. So in preparation for her getting shoes on Tuesday. And then of course she decided to be very stubborn about getting into the wash rack for whatever reason, but I led her in with grain and then we got what we needed done done. And then we were merrily on our way in the pouring down rain. We ended up missing the first race. Well, kind of. It was going as we arrived. So I didn't get any footage of the first race or anything. But I do have to mention that as soon as I got there, I just made a beeline right up to the rail just to watch the horses run as they were coming to the finish line and hearing the hooves and just the speed and the energy of the crowd as everyone was coming down it was just absolutely mind-blowing and I cried because I actually haven't been to the races in a very long time um, for many years I've battled with how I felt about racing and the industry and all of this stuff and I have kind of come to terms with how I actually feel about it all and I might make a video about that eventually. Anyway, just the experience of being there, I was just filled with a whole lot of emotion. Emerald Downs has this really cool little display of Hall of Fame uh, things in Washington State with racing and thoroughbreds and there was nobody directly relevant to my horse but it was still a really cool thing to see. The third race is actually the race I really wanted to see as that one had the horse that was being trained by Maddie's former trainer. And so I stuck around to watch that race. He was the one horse and his name was Curling Secret. Um, he doesn't have any breeding directly that is related to Maddie, but to see how he ran with the trainer and jockey was what I wanted to see, just see if there was anything in there that would give me any clues. Fortunately, I did not learn anything specific about Maddie through them. He came in second, as you will see through my video, but I did end up watching all of the 
other horses that were sired by Maddie's sire, Coast Guard, and they all lost significantly. So that was kind of eye-opening. Either they don't run well in mud or I don't know, but I did see that many of them displayed characteristics that Maddie does, like being a little bit stubborn and opinionated, and I think part of that is her storm cat breeding, but it could also be many other things, but I'm not ruling it all out. She hears the, the bell. <laughs> <laughs> 